Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Kathy J Show. Thank you so much for watching us today and spending this half hour with us. I love you guys for hanging out with us. I got to give a shout out, big shout out to everybody that have been finding us on the website, kathyjshow.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because there's a lot of behind the scenes there. And a lot of people, a lot of you are just going back and watching shows, which I just dig so much. So thank you. All right, everybody. So on the show, you know, we do a lot about women's health. We have covered women's health, but today we're turning the tables, everybody. It's the men's turn. It is Movember, which is Movember because, you know, during the month of November, a lot of men now grow mustaches. <laughs> You get that to help raise awareness for men's health issues, okay? A lot of it has turned into really good beards, too. For those of you, the, you men out there that can grow those beards in the month of November, wow, props to you. All right, so this thing, today we're going to talk about health issues for men like prostate cancer. Hey, everybody, did you know that prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers that men are going to have? And that's according to the University of Colorado Medicine. In fact, one in six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. That's a lot. You know six men. One of them is going to be diagnosed. In Colorado alone, there are around 3,900 new cases of prostate cancer every year. And that's according to the American Cancer Society. Now, I happen to know one of these guys. <laughs> Please welcome to the show, Doug Gustafson. Yay! Doug, first of all, thank you for yeah, being here. Sure, absolutely. This is very brave of you to be sharing this because you're in the middle of it right now. I'm so I, I really appreciate it. We have to start by saying, Doug here is married to one of my favorite women <laughs> in the world. Doug is the husband of Leslie Gustafson, who is our sex psychology and relationship coach that comes on the show yeah, all the time. He is. Yes, so it's awesome that yeah, you're finally yeah, on the couch. I'm, I'm by myself. Yeah, well, for a couple for of a little bit. For a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me for half the show. Yes, but, that's pretty but good. you're also in the same field. You're also yes, a coach. Yes. yes. I've been a coach and a mentor and a therapist for probably over 42 years now and worked with a lot of men. So I kind of know how they think and and where their resistances are yes. to their own health uh, and what gets in the way. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, right, what gets in the way. There's a lot of machismo <laughs> that you have to f fight through yeah. with these men. Yeah. That's how you guys were raised. Well, it's basically how we're raised. You know, we're raised that we don't ask for help. We yep. don't ask for directions. If we're lost, we, we can do it on our own. <laughs> he <laughs> we, threw that in for Leslie. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm lost all the time, right? But, uh, you know, men don't have this sense of, of self-care right. because we're, we're kind of raised that we're strong and we're, we're masculine and uh, you fight through it and we fight through it. And you know, we just, we just sort of limp along like that with a mindset. It's a mindset. Uh -huh, it is a mindset. It, it's a perspective. It's a belief system that says, you know, I'm okay and I'll get by and, yeah, and I won't go to the doctor. Right. And that's the wrong thing. So when were you diagnosed with prostate cancer? Roughly six months ago. Okay. Uh, That's how fresh this is, everybody. Yeah, it's brand new. Yes. It was, uh, it was a shocker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, six months ago. And uh, as you know, I was, uh, I'm a heart recovery person. So yep. uh, in 2010, I had what they call the Widowmaker. I was ready to die and didn't know it from vascular blockage. And so I've been dealing with heart stuff. And I've always thought, well, if I'm going to go, it's, it's going to be, be the, heart. the heart. Yeah. Right? And then I got this diagnosis and I thought, what what's that i don't i don't right. need cancer on top of it right, right right this wasn't on the radar wasn't on the radar i'm supposed to die of heart disease right. and not or up getting hit by a bus yeah <laughs> those else. sorts of things it wasn't right? going to be prostate cancer it wasn't going to be cancer of any kind right and so now it is okay possibly now you, you stop right there okay. possibly okay. we'll get back yeah to we'll you. get okay. back to that yeah. all right everybody we do have to take a quick commercial break and when we come back we'll find out more about possibly we'll be right back possibly Kathy J. J. Oakwood Homes is an official partner of the Kathy J Show. Oakwood Homes, building happiness. Kathy J. J. Welcome back to the Kathy J Show, everybody. Woo! Hanging out with Doug Gustafson. <laughs> Yay! Today's show is all about men's health, everybody. So there's nobody that I want to be talking to you today more than Doug Gustafson. He is currently going through a battle with prostate cancer. So let's get into it. So, yeah. all right, Doug. So what prompted you first to head to the doctor? What did you have? Well, it, it wasn't a prompting. Oh. I just was there for my annual physical. Okay. Right? And uh, Which some men don't even do the annuals. No, no, they right? don't. They yes. skip the physicals. Come they skip on, the, fellas. It's I don't. once a year. You can't give your doctor once a year. Right, once a okay. year. 
And she happened to do a PSA test, which is, which is a prostate specific antigen test. Your prostate gives off antigens. Okay. And they can measure that, and if it's way too high or over the limit that they want, then then they can uh, then they're concerned. Okay. Right. Right. So th they want it to be four or less. Mine was like 11.8. Ouch. So I'm right off the chart, you yes. know. Um, the second thing is is with as you get older, it gets it can be more difficult to urinate. Okay. okay? Right. So I was experiencing. Oh, it's so sexy getting older. Yeah. Yeah. Just oh, so it's, you it's know. wonderful. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> so. Um, it takes just takes longer, right? Right. right? So that's all right. <laughs> it's all right. You they don't know time. what you're, they don't know what you're doing in the bathroom, but you're just trying to pee, <laughs> right? So anyway, time. so that was a bit. Of, I wouldn't have gone to the doctor for that probably, but I was there and I talked about that, and she said, "Well, let's let's do a digital exam, which you think might might, might be on your computer." Yeah, yeah. No, that's the finger. That's a digit. That's the like digit. A digit. Right. Is digital more it's than the one finger? finger? It's one. <laughs> okay, it's good. one. And my doctor's a female, which helps a little bit. Yes. But anyway. <laughs> So, so they can go in and actually feel both sides of the prostate to possibly see if there are abnormalities, which there weren't, which is good news. It was smooth or whatever it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. And uh, so that was the exam, but she said, we're going we're gonna to refer you to a prostate or a cancer prostate person. Because something's going on. Something's Not going on. Not that she was able to right. obviously feel it or anything, but something's, something's happening. Your going blood on. work is saying it. Okay. Yeah. Now, in that, there really aren't any symptoms wow. other than... So it's sort of a silent, yeah. and your hair's not falling out, or you're not getting weak and tired coughing and coughing. And or right. any, I cough all the time anyway well, yeah. in Colorado, <laughs> but I'm not coughing. Very dry here. Oh, yes. it's terrible. Um, so that there led was to, no real symptoms. Not so really. So then you go to the next doctor. Yeah, so he's he's a specialist in this. He's okay. like a whiz, and he knows what he's talking about, right? So he go, gives us the lowdown of what's involved in the the process of getting the biopsy, and I'm thinking. You know, we'll do the biopsy, but cancer's not my deal. It's yeah, my heart. Right. So it's kind of a waste of time, but let's go do it. All right. Because I take care of my health. Yes. Right? You are very healthy. You and Leslie are both very healthy. Pretty much. Yeah. You know, but I thought I was healthy in 2010. Yes, right. And you, that was a widow maker almost. Right. Yes. You never know. Petrified I could, wood. You could yes. be on the set here and just drop dead. Right. From the widow maker. Right. Right. So anyway. Thanks, Doug. Do, <laughs> do the, it's mostly men. Okay. So we do the biopsy, and I get a rating from that. Okay, so the rating goes from 1 to 10. It's called a Gleason rating for some reason. I don't uh -huh. know why, but maybe Jackie Gleason or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's a Gleason rating, so I get a 6, right? And that's concerning. Anything above a 5. Okay. I'm not a 10. Right. I'm a 6. Okay. Which means that that's the best. If you're going to be diagnosed with prostate cancer, that's the best news you can have. Okay. And let me say to anybody that's got any other kind of cancer, uh, I've got the best one, okay? okay, because it doesn't spread fast. It's it's very limited. It goes in like six month blocks for it to ever spread. So I can chuckle about it a little bit more than if we were talking about brain cancer right, right now. Right, right. Others so I cancers. want to be respectful of people out there. But Absolutely. So, so Thank we've you, made Doug. some jokes about it and all of that. But but anyway, I'm a Gleason six, okay. So at a Gleason six. It's it's quite feasible to do active surveillance where you just keep an eye on it and six months later you do another one. Yeah. Which is what they're going to do in December, December seventeenth. Okay. Now what they're going to do is they're going to go in and they're going to uh, do a more extensive biopsy. Okay, that's where, okay. Yeah, because they're gonna, six months now has gone by, and if the yeah. if it goes at every right. six months, okay. Well, it's, it's not just that; it's that in their first biopsy they may not have done it. They may not have done enough. Oh. They're going to take more samples. They take samples on each side. And then they compare those cells which, with what ought to be a normal prostate cell. Okay. And you get a Gleason rating from that. So that's in December. December. Okay, so if it stop stays right in six, there. Then okay, we're yeah. Good. We're yeah. going to pray for six. We're yes, going to pray we for six, Doug. Six All right, everybody, we got to take a quick break. But when we come back, Leslie's going to join us on the couch, give us yes. a little spouse perspective. We'll be right back. <laughs> Kathy J. The Colorado Lottery is an official partner of the Kathy J. Show. Colorado Lottery, play on. Welcome back to the Kathy J Show, everybody. Today we're talking about prostate cancer. Doug Gustafson is back with me along with his beautiful wife, Leslie. Yay, Leslie! <laughs> she's 
she doesn't, uh, have, a, she doesn't have a prostate. No, she doesn't. So she couldn't be here on this seat. She can't sit in she this part of the couch. Right. You can't sit here. Um, but, but, right. but she does have a man with she a prostate. She does. She does. Yes, yes, I do. So, Leslie, what went through your mind? Were you with Doug when he was at that appointment? It was just a checkup. You probably weren't expecting. Well, when he got the elevated prostate numbers, that was kind of like, okay, it could be anything, right? Yes, we, right. I don't panic, and it was just kind of, we don't really know yet. Yeah. I think we both didn't think it was going to be cancer. It's just not a part of his history. It's a part of mine. Yeah, right. right? Um, so we were just surveilling it and whatever. But then when he got cancer, it was like, what? Right. And when you hear the word cancer, I think when any of us hears the word cancer, we just think death. Yes. Right? right. We immediately panic. And my cancer history is I lost my mother to cancer um, nearly 20 years ago. So cancer is scary. Right. And it's kind of like, no, that's not how this is going down. It's mm -hmm. like, for me, it's like, no, that's a no. Yes, because <laughs> you guys have built a life together. I mean, you guys, yes. like, you have this, you have your beautiful family. There, there you guys oh. are, look. There you are. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a short one. Yeah. Oh, there's our kid. Right on. Right on. That I'm, is awesome. That He's is awesome. So good. Grandkids. 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 Three out of four yeah, of them. The whole family except Nate. Little He's guy's hiding. He's, we've got one hiding. You guys have been working so hard. When you found each other, mm. it, it became, now let's really build our lives. Yes. And obviously, there's the product of it. Yeah, you guys, we have a wonderful life. Your careers life. exploded. Yeah. Your, your, families, your family together exploded. We like, are having the best you are. stage of our life we, we also had to build, ever. We also had to build a professional life that yes. matched what we say. Yes. In terms yes. of our sexual connection, yeah. our love for each other. Right. All those ingredients were essential because we're not fake people, we're not right. fraudulent, we live out what we say. <laughs> right. So uh, I am a sex therapist. It's important that we have great sex, yes. and we do. <laughs> so, so here's my question. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you this. So your book was Amazing Intimacy. That's mm -hmm. the title of your book. You yes. do have Amazing Intimacy. Um, one of the reasons men are fearful of getting the prostate cancer diagnosis is because ED comes around with it, right? Absolutely. Does it come around once you have the, pro the cancer treated, when does that happen? Because erectile dysfunction, no man wants to say they have that, right, right. Mm. but it's a, it could happen. It could happen, so as you get older, you have, to, you have the blue pill, yeah. you know, that's one thing. <laughs> right. This is a whole nother one, because when they take the prostate out, first of all, it could be nerve damage, mm. um, you're taking out a, a major part of your, it's not essential to living, right. but it's essential to, uh, to, to not be disturbing that area. Yeah, right. <laughs> in order to, so whether you do chem, uh, radiation therapy, or most of the time they do a robotic removal of the prostate, and then you have uh, you know, the odds of having some kind of sexual difficulty, it's not like 1%, it's like 20, 30, 4, I mean, you're gonna yeah. struggle for a while. And you may struggle forever. Right. And so when you look right. at us, right. and taking that part of your life From out, it. That's the fear for me. Is it really? Yes. It, it, it's, it's a fear of that change, which is part of the fear of just getting older. Yeah, it's right. It's part of the bigger picture. It yeah. is. Right? So you're getting older. Um, so, you know, I'm concerned that that chapter of our life is going to change up. Now, it's right. not, we have some tricks in our bag of tricks. I was just going to say, but <laughs> I know y'all got tricks. We so do. It's not like it's going to be and, that and I think if we there's do. any message I have is like, if you've really created a great sex life with lots of variety and intimacy and depth of connection, it's going to be less tra traumatic if he doesn't function right. as well. Right. Because See, function that's does make you feel change better, right? over time. Well, it does, but I still enjoy yeah. sex. Right. Right? So, I guess you're right. And, yes. and my part in it. <laughs> you're, you're right, Doug. So, I guess you wouldn't be getting that so, part. I'm sorry. Well, I enjoy her enjoying it, too. Yeah, right, so there's right. lots of things that are going to continue to work. It's just going to be a shift if that happens. So that's my fear isn't of dying of prostate cancer. It's, it's not likely with a Gleason 6 of uh -huh. it just progressing and away I go. Right. But uh, <laughs> so, so I, I still plan to die of heart disease. Okay. But, but nevertheless, a plane crash, as we oh, plane crash yes. Oh, goodness. But, you know, the, the side effects, and, and I have friends my age who have gone through this, and lo and behold, that's yes. one of them. Or incontinence. You might not want, want me sitting on this leather. So hey, don't worry about it. You know what? <laughs> you got to watch out for my chair, too, yeah, Doug, yeah, right. so I wouldn't worry okay, about okay. that. So, <laughs> so, the, your, so your next doctor appointment in December, where you mm -hmm. go yeah, and December see... Yeah, December 17th. It's a biopsy. Yes, yeah. okay. Yeah. We're, we, we're, we're, look, we're praying for a six again. Six. Yep. Yep. And we're if praying goes, for no change. Right, and if no it change. goes to a seven, then we have to discuss what will What's happen. Next? Radiation okay. or surgery or some yeah. kind of intervention at that point. Okay, yeah. all right. But all of this in a man's mindset, in my mindset, 
is part of a bigger picture of how do we take care of ourselves as a man. Yes. Yes. It's holistic. Yes. This isn't just prostate cancer, it's quality of life. Yes. So for yeah. men, my message out there would be buck up and get to your doctor once a year, do your physicals, uh, take care of your body because you have this life to live. Uh -huh. and, and listen to things in your body, listen yeah. to symptoms. If you have a cough yeah. for a long time, go check it out. Oh no, I can't tell you how many how many men, my grandfathers, my uncles, my dad, that I watched growing up and they would cough and uh, and they'd look like, oh, <laughs> and then they'd just get up and be like, heading to work. And I'm like, maybe you should go get and see a doctor about yeah. that. Like, they just ah, I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, but, but right. But, <laughs> but to, take it, to take it beyond the doctor though, it's not just going to the doctor once a year. It's yeah. What's the quality of your life? Yes. How are you Physically, care are you taking care of yourself? Are you working on your marriages if you're married? Your quality of your own growth as a man? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and men just don't think like that. No. Holistically. So my message in working with men all these years has been, get your testosterone checked. It's yeah. a major homo hormone. Absolutely. Most of them have no idea what it is. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, get your physical once a year. But let's look at your whole life. Yes. Because yeah. men's health is about as women's too, but men's health is about your whole life. Yes. And creating equality within that, that you get to chart the course of. Yes, right. Don't That's, be passive in it. Don't be passive in your yes. health. That's exactly right. Yes. All right, when we come back, Doug has more advice for men who are out there watching. So Probably ladies, do. make sure your guys watch yes. this show. Yes. We'll be right back. Kathy J. Ramos Law is an official partner of the Kathy J. Show. He's a medical doctor and a lawyer. Ramos Law, what makes us different makes us better. Kathy J. Oh, I love that you guys keep laughing. I love you too. Thanks for watching this past half hour, everybody. We've been hanging out with Leslie and Doug, Doug and Leslie Gubsison. Leslie and Doug Gubsison here today on the couch. Doug is currently under acting surveillance for <laughs> prostate cancer. Um, Leslie, I, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I Absolutely. Mean, yes, uh, you have the best su su best support system in the world. Um, <laughs> at, um, but I, I want to know this. We were just talking, so at an annual that a guy has to go to every year, does he get uh, the finger thing? Is that why men don't want to do annuals because of that? Well, I don't think so. That's not the most pleasant thing in the no, world. No, it's but not, but you got to get checked, right? I mean, hey, that, fellas, right. you know what they do to us? Yeah, get right. in there. That's <laughs> right, labor <laughs> and delivery. But here's the thing, they don't always do the digital exam. They don't always do a PSA. Oh. So, so you, you gotta need, ask for it. You need to ask I for mean, it. I mean, yes, right. Every it, year, get a PSA <laughs> test. Ask for the finger. That's, that came across. That's, there was an innuendo. It was Ask good. for the finger. <laughs> yeah, and, and advocate for yourself. Be proactive. Yes. yes. Don't Because in, in healthcare these days, you have to be more proactive than you used to be. They want to just automatically put you into the categories and treat you the way that the cold, mm -hmm. the way that it's supposed to be treated is what yes. I've noticed. Yeah. You yes. know? Yeah. Like yes. anyone that I've had a friend that's gotten cancer, it's immediately, we'll make this phone call. You'll have to get set up with radiation yeah. and chemo. And there's never any options. It's like this way that you just herd the, you know, you move right. the herd yes. through their cancer treatment. So right. when, when your guy takes action and he moves out of fear yeah. and he does something like take care of himself, for me as the wife or for the kids, you're saying thank you for loving me in that way. Yes. Because when you take care of you, you're taking care of all of us. I think that because goes, we yes. want you around. <laughs> we do, and I and think so that's when to you're, everyone when you're out ignoring there. it, we're like going, "Come on, right? what are you doing to that's us?" That's everyone with their health, yes. you know. Like I mean, you know, I, the, the healthier I'm getting, the more I'm like, I am showing my children I'm here for them. Yes, that I, you know, and it is the best. And way you to show are love. saying, you are saying, I'm a person who matters. Yeah, yeah. My health matters, mm -hmm. and that communicates to everybody. Right. That yeah. that we love on ourselves, we take care of ourselves, we advocate for ourselves. That is a lesson to children. Don't, yes, that is a mm -hmm. huge lesson to children. And Doug, your big thing is just to men, don't live in fear of whatever you're scared of. Fight that and change your mind. Your and, mindset. And have a little fear about the quality of your life. Oh yeah. Let's right? major in that. Let's yeah. take care of ourselves emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, physically, and all the domains that are, that are there because the, the, between now and when you go, yeah. th that's the quality is everything. It is yeah. the it yes, is. it it's is. Everything. You got to live your you life like a great it's life. I have I have a side question really fast. When mm. you two fight, since you're both, both therapists, who wins? I do. <laughs> he wins at first. 
and then I win later because the way he he yeah. knows, this is a whole other show, Kevin. It's a whole other show. <laughs> All right. Well, I, <laughs> I was just curious. I think a lot of people were always. He wondering does when not they're... win. He believes he wins. <laughs> so that's like every normal just household. Saying. He believes I believe I win when I win. There we go. See, they're just like everybody else. There. So do you know what? Any final thoughts that you want to leave everybody with? Mm. Well, I think I think uh, for anybody listening, whether you're a man or a woman, I think your health matters. Yeah. And your, your mind matters. matters. And your mind mindsets matter. So for men, you know, correct your mindset. Be proactive about that part of your life. You may be in career, you may be in other areas of your life, but if you want a quality of your life, we have a, a daughter-in-law who's whose uh, father decided not to do something about the mole on his leg for oh, years and years. That's not good. Yeah, and, and his nur two of his daughters are nurses, and, and they kept telling him, go to the doctor. Well, he, he doesn't want it. to get physicals. He died we six gotta months leave it ago. There. Yeah. Go to the doctor. Go to doctor. the doctor. Everybody. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Doug Gustafson, everybody. Get more information at American Cancer Society's website, cancer.org. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that was sad. Yeah, good job.